In today's episode, you will learn how to make your own low-cost tankless instant water heater or on-demand water heater at home. We will test the mega heater bands, 12 volt DC glow plugs, copper coil and an aluminum heat exchanger to check if we can make an instant water heater using any of these. My target is to achieve an uninterruptible continuous supply of water at around 35 celsius so without any further delay let's get started i got these three mega heater pins from the banggood.com which is one of the largest online shopping stores in china I actually ordered these heater bins for building a DIY filament extruder machine and a small plastic injection molding machine. But before I use these heater bins for melting the plastic, I decided to perform some experiments to check if we can make an instant water heater using these stainless steel mega heater bins. Each one is 220 volt AC and 150 watt. I start off by assembling all the parts. I fixed all the three heater bands. Finally, I connected the wires and the whole setup was completed in around 15 minutes. Initially, I started with one heater band and I couldn't see any rise in the temperature. I also powered up the remaining two heater bands and the result was same. So I completely rejected these mega heater bands. So if you see someone who claims to make an instant water heater using these mega heater bands, it's a scam. Moreover, 220 volt AC can be really dangerous. Next, I decided to use these 12 volt DC glow plugs to check if we can really make an instant water heater. If you search on the YouTube, you will find a lot of videos misguiding millions of viewers. You can clearly see this video got more than 6 million views. This is nothing but just a scam because I practically tested these glow plugs and I will share with you the end results but first a few words about the sponsor of this video this video is sponsored by PCBWay feel free to visit their website PCBWay.com to not only find out what awesome PCB and assembly services they offer but also to easily upload your Gerber files and thus order affordable and high quality PCBs quickly the sign up process hardly takes one minute and you are welcomed with a $5 welcome bonus. A glow plug is a heating device used to aid in starting diesel engines. A glow plug normally draws around 10 to 12 amps when connected with a 12 volt battery. It has three main parts. Over here we connect the 12 volt DC. Over here we connect the battery ground wire and this black ring is basically the insulation ring that protects the two from each other. For measuring the temperature, I will use this K-type thermocouple and the MAX 6675 sensor amplifier. This temperature sensor is capable of measuring the temperature up to 1024 Celsius. I will use this circuit with the temperature sensor for displaying the temperature on the OLED display module. You can download the circuit diagram and code from my website electronicclinic.com. I will provide a link in the description. I connected the 12 volt and ground wires from the battery. As you can see, the glow plug is really hot. It's literally glowing. But don't get fooled with this. Next, I use the temperature sensor to check the amount of heat it can produce. As you can see, the temperature is still rising. You can easily burn papers, melt plastic or even you can make a soldering iron. Now let's find out if a glow plug can really heat up the water. 
I will start with a glass of water rather than using a giant plastic container filled with gallons of water. I will use the temperature sensor for measuring the temperature so that you guys can practically see if it really worth spending money on this useless idea. You can clearly see the water temperatures between 10 and 11 Celsius. You will see this fascinating and impressive effect in the beginning and that's it. The heat is transferred. Anyhow, I waited for minutes. It's been 30 minutes. I did my lunch and still I can't see any rise in the temperature. So after all this 30 minutes of waiting, the water near the glow plug is little warm, which really doesn't make any difference as the water is not flowing. This effect really sells and this is how most of the guys are fooled when they see this instant water to steam conversion which lasts for around 2-3 to three seconds and then there is nothing. When the glue plug is inside the water you can touch it and you will only feel the warmness. So after these tests I'm sure even if you use multiple glow plugs you won't be able to make an instant water heater. And if still you're planning to use the glow plugs, then think about the current it draws. So from my side, the glow plugs are completely rejected. I didn't stop here. I decided to design my own heat exchanger using copper tubes. I usually use SolidWorks for designing enclosures and mechanical parts. Prior to the designing, I measured the diameter of the copper tube that I'm going to use. So this is my basic copper coil that I'm going to start with. I purchased this 9 feet long copper pipe with internal diameter of 13 mm. Our basic heat exchanger is ready. I added these extra copper tubes to increase the surface area. Next I visited the local electronics shop to purchase the gas stove. As you can see we have different sizes but I am going to purchase this bigger one.
Our setup is ready. Next I connected the water pipe. When there is no fire, the water temperature is around 7 Celsius. With this basic copper coil without the fins added, you can see the water temperature is increased to around 19 Celsius. The efficiency can be further improved by adding copper or aluminum fins. To explain this, I added these aluminum tubes and let's see if this will increase the temperature. I know this will not make a huge difference as the aluminum tubes are not in good contact with the copper coil, but anyways, this will a little bit explain the idea. As you can see this time the temperature is increased to 21 Celsius. I got this second hand refrigerator aluminum coil for around $1.5. As you can see it has the fins and there are two loops. So this should further increase the water temperature. I also added these aluminum tubes to further increase the surface area. This time the water is really hot. You won't need to wait for the hot water. You can take a shower for hours. Now this is what we call the instant water heater. This will only cost you $9. This time the temperature is increased to 38 Celsius and with this my target is achieved. The temperature will further increase if another loop is added or if you add another aluminum coil in series. So we tested all these. Don't use the mega heater bins and the glow plugs for making the tankless instant water heater. You can use the copper coil or aluminum coil with fins. You can design your own heat exchanger or you can purchase a ready-made second-hand or new heat exchanger. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode. And thanks for watching.